Good chunks right up here. You right there. I don't know. <laughs> the feed line and the return line hard line thank you Paul Gray much better <laughs> no wacky wild water hose in my garage today still using a rubber line for the feed line instead of the return line I like to, I like it to be flexible so I can move the pump around as I clean my stuff up and change it only running a return line because my cheap butt won't go out and buy a new pump, and I'm running this gigantic sump pump, like half horsepower, <laughs> quarter horsepower sump on a tiny little cleanup sluice. But there you go, works pretty good. This one can normally be set on two little buckets and work real well with a nice little sump, but with that big old, uh, or nice little, uh, maybe like 800, 700 GPH pump, but. With the sump being quarter horsepower, I have to run it with a return line and a feed line and a blah blah blah. And it just like it needs to be a bigger pool of water to really work efficiently. But yeah, I made this just to sit on two five gallon buckets. And I have a little stand I put underneath this, just a bar that goes across the bucket. And you can just sit there and use it pretty much anywhere with a 12 volt battery and a tiny little pump. And it just sits there and pumps great. I just want to play around with it a little bit with some of this stuff. I didn't want to set up the big setup, so there you go.